All right, guys, I don't know if you can see. Your boy got a mask, I'm about to go back outside. It, well, I say back outside. We haven't been outside all day because we've been working, A, it's been raining, B, and when it rains, the mosquitoes come up, it's humid, it coats your back, your skin, feels all type of gross. So we're about to leave right now and go to a critically acclaimed restaurant here in El Centro. It is called Apola. I'm sure I hacked that. If I hacked the comment below, I'm sure I hacked it. Anyways, this place is known for their like Yucatanian cuisine and like it's kind of like a fine dine Yucatanian restaurant. And you know your boy D and your girl V, we love us some fine dine. So we're about to head over there right now. And yeah, it's not you, fine dine, no. it's not fine dine. She says it's not fine dine. This but is her right here. If she's by the door, she's ready. I'm the one holding us up. It's like casual delicious. I did. I honestly didn't even know that was, that was, uh, I just made it up. okay, cool. We like it. We're going to go with it. So we're going to this casual, delicious, you could take it restaurant. Let's go folk. Once again, guys, we're walking down that long path to our place. It's, it's gnarly, isn't it? Long path to catch our Uber for some weird reason down our street, our Uber always takes us way down here i don't know why always watch out honey watch out oh my god dude ain't got a boy. listen mexico is wild <laughs> mexico is wild my man ain't got his lights on nothing uh and that dog coughing like he got a throat disease yeah man that man needs some tea this is our uber right here flashing the lights yeah bro there's loose dogs and loose cats everywhere, fam. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> huh? Guys, we've made it. Baby lips, you excited? We've made it to this spot. Uber driver's wild, whatevs. This is so beautiful, right? Outside we have like the Parisian lights. I don't even know if you guys can see uh, the Parisian light setups. There's a the canopies, and yeah, man, even our table has like this like mosaic, uh, like a mosaic touch to it, to where it's like this mosaic graphics. Phenomenal. What you guys don't know is when you travel right now during a pandemic, some people may know this, but this is a uh, Spanish menu. If you take your phone and scan this, you'll get Spanish. And this is an English menu. If you take your phone in Spanish and get English, uh, and on the back of you scan it, you get the cocktails. A really clean, efficient way of going to a restaurant during a pandemic. Right, baby? <laughs> Gracias. Cheers, my love. Another amazing night in Mexico. Woo, woo, woo. My baby is the queen of the mezcal mules here. That's special. Good, good. That's wild. Wow, that's smooth. Mezcal margarita, it's called the Manila Mezcal Margarita. It's smooth, there's like mangoes in there, like roasted cherries, bruh, fuego. Guys, this is tuna chilaquiles with red sauce. Oh my God, look at that face. Fun fact about Veronica, her favorite thing to eat is chilaquiles. They will remember that from Cabo that they watch. Yeah, they do remember that from Cabo that they watch. So this is interesting. This is like a cactus root. It's been seasoned and smoked. Oh man, it smells good. And this is a mutton brisket. So like mutton meat, which is kind of like brisket. 
avocados. It's nothing like brisket. It's kind of like brisket. It's literally nothing like brisket. <laughs> um, with avocados, cilantro, clearly some lime on there. And I'm about to take this bad boy to the head. Oh, and onions. I'm going to forget about the onions. I'm going to get this side because this side has more meat uh, opportunity. Wait, can you tell them what, what mutton is so they know it's not brisket? It's lamb. It's lamb. Got it. Thank yeah. you. Technically sheep. Yeah. Okay, lamb and sheep are two different animals. Oh, that smells so good. Which one is it? <laughs> so yummy to you? Oh my god. Describe it. There's jalapenos in here, so I'm getting the heat. Alright. Once again, this place wins on tortillas. The mutton is fat. It's like a fatty, chewy, but like amazing piece. Not really that uh, gamey. There's jalapenos in here. Uh, that roasted cactus adds like a almost like an herbal flavor to it. The cilantro, the onions, for a five-star taco right here. Wait, but is it lamb or sheep? It's sheep. Mm. <laughs> Baby Lips is gonna try the mutton taco. It smells delicioso. And the meat is so tender. Look at that bite. Look at the juice popping out in the back. That is delicious, isn't it? See? I knew you would love it. And Baby Lips is a skeptic about her food. Big facts. I was skeptical about eating the sheep. Oh, the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look at that. Look at the responsible parties. Look at the responsible parties. Look at that. Tostadas y tortillas para necesitar. Okay. Gracias, Mel. All right, guys. So our server just dropped down our ceviche and our beef tacos, and he literally told us the pepper in here was muy caliente. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. Baby lips ain't about the spice life, but as you can see, some of the seeds kind of popped out and are probably floating around. I'm gonna get that heat back in your throat. But what we do know about this area is the ceviche. Bam! The ceviche. Tortillas. Uh, I don't think these are flour. Oh my god. I actually think Veronica's right. I think it was a corn. This is thin beef. There's radishes right there. Uh, there's cheese. There looks like, uh, I don't even know what that is actually. Some kind of aromatic. Okay. And yeah, my baby is really loading it up and taking her time. Okay, there we go. Let me see the inside, my love. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see the avocados, the juice falling out. There we go. How is that? Wow. We'll be back after these commercials, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we'll be back after these messages. brings it home. It, it ties it all up. The more I investigate, I notice that there's an avocado pill in this drink, which makes me feel like they put avocado in here. Bruh. Complexity. I can't even taste it. Hi, people. 
my super citizens. I don't think I'm in focus, honey. <gasps> You're good. Nobody's around. Oh my god, Dustin's exposing me. Oh, oh okay, god. sacrifice me. Um, okay, hey. So I'm holding the camera tonight. Which isn't something she does often, by the way. <laughs> um, so dinner was good, right, honey? Super good. However, um, if I had to recommend a place in Me M Meridia? Medida. Medida. Um, I would far recommend, um, what was the place we went to yesterday? Tate Mar. Tate Mar. I mean, you guys, Tate Mar, it's a W. Tate Mar was everything. Or what was this place all the way at the end of the street? Taya. Or Taya. Tate Mar and Taya. Yeah. I don't think we're saying those correctly, but you watched the video, so surely we showed the signs of those two places from yesterday or the day before, whenever we went there. So check those out because those are our recommendations. This place, I feel like you could, you could skip it. But if you decided to come, like you wouldn't completely be out. However, it was definitely the most expensive place that we've had. And on a scale of one to five, I give it a, I give it a, a solid three point eight, almost a four. Oh, I give it a 2.5. What? <laughs> Critics. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Hey, you guys, I don't have the camera anymore. She doesn't. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can see that, but gas is 18.99 pesos. $18.99 pesos. 18 pesos and 99 cents, basically. Which comes out to be, I crap you not, like 60 cent a gallon. Sh shook to the core. Man, listen, on gang up, baby. I see. 60 cent a gallon, fam. Look at my girl, guys. I'm trying to tell him a story and he's trying to get me to forget. Hey guys, we are crossing the street, and as you know in Merida, okay, look at that, I almost got clipped by that person, it is a struggle to cross the street here, if you don't have your timing together, bruh, they gonna, you gonna be a tortilla out here in these streets, right baby, they will run you smooth over, flatline you, and not even care, just keep it moving. Hey guys, so we made it back home. Dustin's washing his hands and now we're about to go shower okay and this is always such an event in this house because sometimes we have like really hot water and it lasts for a long time and sometimes we have like hot water that lasts for like five minutes so it's always an event and um it's really fun right baby tell them why it's an event because Dustin doesn't like to get in the shower right when we get home, but I do. I don't like to be in my house dirty with like the outside vid juice air, so. Vid juice air. Thumbs up to my girl. <laughs> Comment below, vid juice air. <laughs> I like to get in the shower right away. Dustin likes to decompress first. And Dustin, by the way, you guys, do you see this island? Excuse the mess on it. Dustin can just walk circles around this thing all day, okay? Literally. All day. He can just stand up and just, like sometimes he edits right here. Literally. Standing up. He'll just be standing here for hours, just standing up. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> give them knees a rest, please. Give okay. them old joints a rest, okay. please. All right. Please. First of all. <laughs> 
First of all, guys, <laughs> listen, hold on, because what she's not going to tell you, don't walk away, girl, don't walk, no, don't try to walk away. What she's not going to tell you is Veronica has the uncanny ability to sit down for 12 and 13 hours straight, sitting down, not moving, like legs just getting stiff as hell. She can just sit for 12 hours out of a 24 hour day and That's oh, not true. and she sleeps eight hours. So the other, the, she can stand for four hours, 12 sitting down, eight sleeping, for just walking around talking to herself. Anyway, I don't sit down for 12 hours straight. That's insane. My Apple Watch is like the best thing I've ever gotten. By the way, if you guys don't have an Apple Watch, you should totally get one. Um, I, I like really love mine. Anyway, I feel like I'm just rambling at this point. I don't know why I'm so talkative today. On the way home, me and Dustin had a serious debate. Um, and I really unloaded my truth to him, and I feel like he enjoyed it. Right, baby? Guys, once again, Veronica, what you may not know, the uncensored Veronica is extremely opinionated. So you're only going to get a glimpse of that opinion if you subscribe to our podcast. Download our stuff. Once again, check out the podcast. That's when you got to get to know the real Veronica. Do you think I'm really that opinionated? Oh my God, and controversial is hell. If you guys want to know, DMV La La Land, the podcast. Anyway, back to my Apple Watch. They just started this thing called, what is it called? Fitness Plus or something? Mm -hmm. Apple Fitness Plus? Yeah, and so tomorrow I'm going to try to see if Dustin will finally buy me a yoga mat because I couldn't bring mine with me. I was like, you know, one of the things I had to leave behind. Um, but as soon as I get my yoga mat, I'm going to start doing Apple Fitness because I think this is just enough space right here for me to get in some like... Actually, do you guys want to know something? Okay, <clears throat> during quarantine, I picked up a lot of weight. Um, and listen, weight is relative to the individual, right? Everybody picks up weight, carries weight differently. Let's just acknowledge that. But during quarantine, I picked up a lot of weight. And if you don't believe me, ask Dustin. I picked up weight. But all I was doing was like frying fish, cooking, like, uh, what else did I make? We had big ZDs. We had breakfast every single day, croissants. Mm, pancakes. We had big dinners every single night. It just got ridiculous. Um, and all I was doing was playing Animal Crossing. Um, Sitting down for like 20 hours. <laughs> my eyes started twitching and it took like five months to go away. Um, but anyway, so yeah. Um, when I actually took a look at myself in the mirror one day, I was like, bruh. So I started doing um, these workouts, and oh my god, they worked so good, right, baby? Right. Um. How, what? So, oh yeah. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with me right now. Dude. I been started, trying to figure out all night, citizen. I was doing these workouts, and then I started running outside like a real runner, like an out. You know those people that like get up and run outside. That was literally me. I was like running for miles at a time outside. I had bought a knee brace. I had like special running gear. Anyway, I brought some of that stuff with me so me and Dustin could run here outside too because, you know, I started getting fit. I started feeling myself. Oh, would you guys want to see us attach a GoPro to ourselves and do night runs? Oh, you can see us really doing our runs. That would yeah. be fun. Yeah. Um, Comment below. Yeah, so if you guys want to see that, just let me know. But the outside runs was one part of my workout. I, I was also doing this workout called Tracy Anderson. Have you guys ever heard of that? Um, I think I might start doing that again too because that had me tight and right. That combined with the outside running. Ladies, listen, Tracy Anderson is an acquired taste, okay? I'm going to just say that right off the bat, but it really works if you stick to it. I try to convince Dustin to try it with me, but... There's a lot of people that are shook about this rant. 
Okay. And this is what happened to me the entire way home. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so I could have stopped this one two minutes ago, <laughs> but I decided to douse y'all with how my evening was going. Okay. Anyways, I'm, guys, I'm we're going to get in the shower. And then guess like, what? Like, after that, I'm <laughs> going to... no regrets. <laughs> after Until that... Until tomorrow, after the, after we get out of the shower... Before the camera dies. Hold on. Oh, after we get out of the shower, do you want to watch Survivor? Oh, darn it. Okay. Guys, I dropped one of my chocolate nuts. I've been eating these things. I got these at Costco's. They're chocolate well, uh, almonds, and I put them in the refrigerator because they're so good. Anyways, guys. Hold on. Black, so right Ruben. now. <laughs> so right now I'm on season one of Survivor, and I just the last episode I watched yesterday was when they merged, and so I'm so excited. So that's probably what we're gonna do tonight is finish watching that. Hopefully by the time we upload this, we're out of season one because I know someone's probably gonna ruin it. And it won't matter then because I'll already have watched it. So I guess I should let you guys go. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> Live life beautifully with no regrets. And until, and until tomorrow, manana. Big shout out for my camera, the G, the Canon G7X for not ending during como, that rant. Como se dice, live life beautifully with no regrets. And until Ooh. tomorrow, peace and espanol. Hasta luego. Somebody hit me with that in the comments. Yes. Por favor. Gracias. Gracias. Hasta, oh wait, no. Buenos, Buenos noches. noches. Buenos noches. Buenos noches, amigos. Buenos noches. Citizens, como se dice citizens? I, we're gonna have to figure it out. Okay, drop that in the comments too. Como se dice citizens in el comment? Como se dice comments? How do you say like, comment, share, subscribe in Espanol? Uh, me no entiendo el inglés. Okay, so somebody help us out with those <laughs> things down below. And until mañana, ladies and gents. Um, Buenas noches. Buenas noches. I forgot to tell you guys something about my ankle bracelet. I think it was not yesterday, but the day before. I told you guys about my ankle bracelet, but then I forgot to tell you about it when I got home. So I'm gonna tell you about it now. I got this ankle bracelet from, where did I get this from? I can't think of what it's called right I now. No idea. Did you feel my ankle bracelet? I did. Okay, can you put them, can you show them right here what okay. it looks like? I'm going to plug in that clip. Okay, so that's the ankle bracelet and I love it. And I want you guys to know something about this ankle bracelet. It has changed me, okay? I have always felt, you know, you know, like sexy or whatever oh for my, my man. But I put this ankle bracelet on and it just makes me feel like... I am just like Beyonce. Beyonce, okay? Like I don't know what it is about this ankle bracelet, but I want you all to go out and find a cute little dainty gold ankle bracelet and put it on and just wear it, okay? When you get in the shower, take it off and then put it right back on and just wear it and tell me it doesn't make you feel a little bit more, you know, just like, I, you know what I'm trying to say? Anyway, that's all. Bye, guys. Wanna shake the ground? Wanna break away, let loose? I'm tired of waiting, gotta make that move. All the neon signs, now they shout to me. Shape the news